Hey there guys, what's going on here? Today we're going to be talking about Iron Maiden's review, Book of Souls, which came out in 2015, and I totally remember this coming out because I was so stoked, man. The album cover was like, you know, you totally see Eddie, there's a black background, and I'm just like, whoa, this is going to be cool, man, I'm so pumped. Um... And yeah, I, I was really, really excited. Uh, in the middle of this, I remember they were going, supposed to go on tour. I was going to go and see them. Bruce Dickinson ended up having a cancerous tumor. And uh, he ended up having to get it removed. And uh, it sucked, man. But in the meantime, he got it removed, got it done, got it over with. And he is out. But I will have to talk about uh, this whole record. So, um, the production on this record is much more clean. I can tell, I can tell they went, actually went to, like, some type of, like, a modern record studio instead of doing it down in the Bahamas, which is, I don't mind if you do in the Bahamas, but I could tell they definitely went to a modern studio and cleaned up the production. There was no scratches. There was really no, like, definite, like, I don't know, like, they're, I don't know, production just sounds a lot more cleaner on this record. Um, they cleaned up Iron Maiden, they came out with Book of Souls, and this is what we get, man. And we gotta talk about that last track. That last track on this record is almost 20 minutes long. It's like 18 minutes long, and it's called Empire of the Clouds. And boy, oh boy, it is such a great song. Each song on here is really good. They're really not a bad song. I don't know why Iron Maiden gets so much hate, but they just do. Either people really support them or people really don't. But in my case, I'm going to support them um, because this is a great record. It's not bad. But then when you look up what other people say, you talk to your friends about it and they're hating on it. And I don't know why they hate on it because it's a decent record. Book of Souls isn't bad. It's just not. <laughs> There's really nothing to hate on it for. But, uh, yeah, I know it's not Number of the Beast. I know it's not Somewhere in Time. I know it's not, you know, like the classics. But considering the music that we have at this time, year 2021, considering how it's aged, considering how many times I've listened to it, like, no matter how many times I listen to this record, it gets better. It never gets worse. It never gets old. Book of Souls hasn't hasn't aged old. Like, it hasn't gotten worse every time I listen to it. It just gets better. And there's nothing to deny that on this. And uh, you just have to say it's a great, great record. I love it. It's it's awesome. And um, I, I love this record. I'm sorry. Everything from Man of Sorrows to Shadows of the Valley, Death or Glory... Uh, the red and the black, the, the great unknown. It's just to open it up with, uh, if eternity should fall, just a great song period, man. It's great. And, uh, you know, the riffs are great. The solos are great. Bruce's vocals are up there. They're great for his age. They're amazing. Amazing. And, uh, if I'm going to give Book of Souls uh, a rating, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It deserves an 8 out of 10. Yeah, it, it's not Number of the Beast. Yeah, it's not self-titled. But you know what? It's an 8 out of 10. It's solid for their age, for their talent, for everything. Listen to the bass on this record. Listen to the guitars. Listen to the, the solos, the riffing, the song structure, the lyrics, the vocals. Listen to them. They're great. And if you don't like Book of Souls, I don't know what to tell you. But it's one of Iron Maiden's best. It's it's literally one of their best. It really is. I'm gonna I, anything after like the top three records, I would put it number four. I really would. Book of Souls is great. I, I love this record. I, I love it. I love the orchestra, the piano vibes um, for the final track. I, I think that's really cool. I love the longevity. This is a double record, by the way. This is one of their longest records that they've ever put out. It's like almost an hour and a half long, but it is still amazing. Love Book of Souls. Sorry. 8 out of 10. What do you think? Am I wrong? Do you disagree? Am I right? Do you agree? 
put it down in the comments what you think and uh maybe we'll argue maybe we'll discuss maybe we'll do whatever you want but in my in my opinion 8 out of 10 gets an 8 out of 10 for me and we're going to move on we are going to move on to their newest record and i'm excited i am pumped i've been jamming it since it came out i've been in the middle of moving I jammed it all the way up here, listening to it in a freaking U-Haul. I jammed it five or six times, and it is awesome. And we're going to review it. We're going to deep dive into it, and you let me know what you think down below. And I will see you guys on the next video. We're going to end this Iron Maiden review, and I'll deuce and see you guys later. Bye.